Hello dear grade 8 students. Welcome to lesson 1 of East Asian art entitled, Paintings of China, Korea, and Japan. In our previous lesson, we learned that there are similarities and differences in Southeast Asian arts because of the diverse internal and external influences. East Asian countries like China, Japan, and Korea specifically share a common culture. Japan and Korea have culturally more similarity to China, but not in the slightest degree when it involves the languages. The spoken languages are very different. Only Japanese and Korean is similar in terms of the spoken communication. Paintings of East Asia traditionally consists of subjects, motifs, or themes. These may be human beings, animals, landscapes, and everything about nature. Thus, resemblance in their paintings is apparent. The following are the painting subjects or themes of China, Japan, and Korea. Chinese painting subjects or themes. Flowers and birds. Landscapes Palaces and temples Human figures Animals Bamboos and stones The first example is the eight contemporary ink painters who are redefining an ancient Chinese art form by Xu Wei. Second is the Chinese painting landscape art. And the third example is the Birds in Four Seasons, the collection of Chinese flower and bird paintings by Yu Xiaowu. Birds and Plum Artist The following are the Japanese painting subjects or themes. Scenes from Everyday Life Narrative scenes crowded with figures and details. The first example is the Miwa Japanese art. The Yukiyo a wood block print Kasai Aizen on the banks of the Sumida River year, 1830. The second and last example is the Kuchi e wood block print by Tsukahara Chikasa entitled, Lady Yaudo, year, 1907. Let's go the painting subjects or themes of Korea, North and South. Landscape Painting Minwa Four gracious plants, plum blossoms, orchids, or wild orchids, chrysanthemums Bamboo Portraits For example, the Minwa a folk art that touches the soul of the Korean people Gyuha. And the portrait of Kong Io by Yi Jae Gwan, 1783-1837. There are seven important aspects in Chinese painting that you need to understand. 1. In Chinese painting, landscape painting is considered the highest form of visual art. Also, they regard the three concepts of their arts which are heaven, earth, and humankind, yin-yang, that play an important role in understanding the universe as well as in human nature. 2. The visual art of China conveys how man understands the relationship between man and mother nature. The paintings with its subjects are symbolical in meaning and the function. 3. The philosophy of Confucianism, Deism, and Buddhism played a vital role in the arts of East Asia. 
The principles of these religions represent the essence of the traditional Chinese culture. The relationship among the three has been pointed out by both complementation and contention in history. 4. Silk was used as a canvas for painting by the Chinese during the early years but found it very costly. When paper was invented by Keilun in the 1st century AD it was a good substitute for silk in painting art subjects. Chinese painting is called Kuahua, which is using a brush dipped in black ink or colored pigments, usually on paper or silk. 5. The history of Korean painting goes way back to 108 CE as an unconventional form until it was somehow influenced by the Chinese paintings. 6. Mountains and water are important features of Korean landscape painting. 7. The essence of landscape painting is to represent both depiction of nature itself and a systematized illustration of the human view of nature as a whole. Remember. Paintings of East Asia traditionally consists of subjects, motifs, or themes. These may be human beings, animals, landscapes, and everything about nature. Thus, resemblance in their paintings is apparent. I really hope that you have gained new knowledge and understanding about the paintings of China, Japan, and Korea. Good day and goodbye to all.